okay, I've got this design somebody sent to me. He's wanting to add the name into the roots. So I'm just going to show him how to do that. And this probably isn't the only way of doing it. It's just how I would go about doing it. But So I've got the name typed out here. It's a text. I bring it over where I want it in the roots. Change the color so I can see what's going on. I would hold shift with this selected and select the tree. Bring up my line and distribute menu. Use this here to center it. Now my text is centered. Then I'll zoom in. I would select the text, hit shift control plus to convert it to a path. Now that it's a path, I'll go up here to the path menu and do a linked offset. I'll select a different color so I can see what's going on. Zoom in. If you hold control and select this little node right here that brings it up, that's the linked offset. I hold control and drag that up and I would drag it up until all the letters kind of mesh together like so. Now if you hit shift control plus and convert that to a path then I don't want this center part here so I'd hit shift control K to break it apart and then shift control plus to join it all together now it's just a solid back piece. Now I'd take that, I'd hit Control D to duplicate it, bring it up on top, change the color again so I can see what's going on. Now on this, I'm going to go Path, Inset one time to make it slightly smaller than the outset I did. Now with that highlighted, I'd hit Shift and select the tree design. If I zoom out here, you can see they're both selected. And I hit shift control minus to difference that out of the roots. Now what that's done, if I highlight and delete these, is cut the roots out so that I can union my design in there and not have all that behind it. I hit control Z, bring that back up. Now I've got my text here. You could do it before or after, but it needs bridge, so I'd bridge the E. This is kind of a small design, so I'm going to go with a hundred thousandths on the bridge. And then Control D, I'll duplicate that, bring it over here, bridge this A. I'll rotate that just a little. And then I would select both of those, Shift Control Plus to union them together. Select the text, Shift Control Minus. Now those are cut out. Now I can select my background, shift control minus to difference that out of the outline. Then I select the tree, shift control plus to join it all together. And that's how I would add that name into the roots. Then last, you know, after I've done all that, I would come in and clean this up where you can see where I put the bridges in. I don't worry about spacing the bridges perfectly because you can clean this up afterwards. So I just highlight those. Now you got a clean, smooth line through there. Always use your node tools to smooth those out. And same with the A. You can see it's kind of choppy. Highlight it, backspace. Drag your handles, smooth the nodes out. Obviously this design needs cleaned up after doing all that, but basics, I was just wanting to show how I would go about adding that name into the roots. So that's how I would do it.